What's going on everyone and welcome to the TC Trading Channel. So in today's video, super short, simple to the point, we're gonna be talking about how to trade with the MACD indicator. Right now we're gonna be using Tesla. As today's example, we have some lines, some areas, support resistance pulled up, but we're gonna add the MACD, we'll show you how to do that. And we're also gonna talk about what the MACD actually is. So first, make sure you guys are jumping down below, hitting that thumbs up button and subscribing for more of these types of educational videos. That's what we aim to provide here on this channel. If you like this type of stuff, there will be more playlists here that you can dive through as well. So diving into this guy, MACD, Moving Average Convergence and Divergence. That's what it stands for. Pretty much don't need to get too complicated. What is the MACD? It's essentially allowing you to look at trends, okay? So it's gonna show you the relationship between two moving averages of a securities price. So that's gonna calculate by subtracting the 26 period exponential moving average or the 26 EMA from the 12 period EMA, okay? That's pretty much what it is. Don't need to dive too deep into that, but that's how you get the MACD. And what we can look at when we're looking at the MACD is it's really good to determine a trend change, a reversal to the upside or to the downside. And that's what, as traders, we like to use to profit off of a move off of price action. So here's that formula, like I mentioned before, the 12 period EMA minus that 26 period EMA. And with that out of the way, let's just dive right on in. I think that's the best way to look at things. And so we're looking at Tesla right now. What I want to do is on Weeble, which we'll have a link down below so you can follow along with the exact same platform. It is free to use, zero commissions. They're going to give you free stocks when you sign up and deposit with the platform. Link in the pinned comment and description box. So indicators, I go to indicators on my charting feature and I will make sure I go over to edit indicators. And at this point, what I want to do is I want to pull up the MACD. Okay, let's find the MACD. So I scroll down. I need to find M and there it is, MACD, boom, there it is. I'm not gonna mess with the settings. I would recommend you use the settings that your broker gives you and that's a great way to get started with the MACD. MACD is gonna show up on the bottom of the screen right here and what do we have before us here? Okay, so we're looking right now at Tesla. If we zoom ourselves in on Tesla here, what we're going to see is we're gonna see two different color lines and we'll zoom into a, a different time frame in just one second. But we have the orange line that's indicated on this orange line right here on the bottom, that is the MACD line. And then the line below that blue line, that is the signal line. Then we also have these bars that are gonna be helpful too. We'll talk about those guys at the end. So right now we can use the MACD on different time frames. If we zoom on out, what we can see is we're looking at the one year, one day chart. So. Utilizing the MACD to identify an opportunity for a trade here is when we see a cross of that signal line. That's what we're looking for with the MACD. When we get that MACD to cross over that signal line up or down, that is a very good indicator many times of a reversal. Now, again, it's an indicator. It's only a tool. It doesn't have to be what the stock does. But what do we notice right here? Tesla was in a downtrend for quite some time. End of February through, let's say, about the first half of March. Tesla was in a downtrend. What do we notice right here? This orange line, the MACD crosses back above this blue line, that signal line, and that indicated a short-term reversal. Then it kind of came back down, but it did make a higher low and looks like the MACD you know, roughly held just along that signal line and then bounced off that signal line and stayed in the positive direction. Now, MACD is positive here, indicated by these green bars on the bottom of our screen. Don't mistake these for the volume bars. The volume bars are indicated on the top here, up here. This is different. This is the histogram bars. These bars down here at the bottom of the screen are going to indicate whether the MACD is positive or negative. And the MACD goes positive many times, that's indicating a reversal. So when you go from negative to positive, that oftentimes is a good sign to ride the trend back to the upside. And that's what we saw. Tesla then pushed back to the upside, and then we saw the MACD go negative, indicated by the red right here, and Tesla dipped back to the downside. Then eventually, Tesla started to cross back up, it started to go positive, and we've seen slower price action since, although it has been making higher lows and pushing on up. Now, let's look at the five minute chart from today and we'll see a pretty similar situation. The market opens today, Tesla kind of, you know, volatile the first few minutes, like always, you know, a lot of volume, a lot of action. So generally speaking, unless you're experienced, it might not be a bad idea to stay away from the first minute to the first half hour, or even the first hour of trading until we can identify a trend. And if you waited until the first hour, let's say 45 minutes here, what we would then have gotten is Tesla pushing up and then eventually it falls below the VWAP, which we have a video on the channel. If you guys haven't seen that video, definitely check it out after this one, falls below VWAP, 
acts as an area of support. It was, and then now it falls back to the downside. We also can see that right here, the MACD went from green to red. We indicated by green to red. And if you took a position on that transition from green to red, where the MACD went negative, if you took a position right here, that would have been right here. Now let's actually identify how much you would have made to the bottom to these lows. So from that point, Tesla went down 3.25%. Now that's actually pretty substantial for Tesla. If you're trading options or if you're just trading shares, that was a pretty substantial downturn. Now, obviously you're not going to always, you know, catch that entire move, but you could have got a nice chunk of that move. As we saw that MACD staying negative, it tried to go back positive and it got rejected. It failed right here. It couldn't go back positive. We can see that it tried to go green, but it did not. That was the indication stay on the short side. Tesla's going to continue to the downside. And that's what we saw throughout a good chunk of the rest of the day. So there you guys have it. That's the MACD. We saw a reversal again until the end of the day and Tesla pushed back to the upside. That's the MACD. Make sure you're watching down here. You could, of course, look at it a couple different ways. You could watch the line, the orange line, that MACD line crossing the signal line. If it's above, it's positive. If it's below, it's negative. That's your indication for a buyer for a sell when you see that reversal, when you see that initial cross. And then you can also just watch the history and you can watch the colors down here. When you start to see that going from green to red, that's an opportunity for you to take a position and ride that trend back down. Obviously, make sure you have a stop loss in place. Don't just blindly buy stocks and sell stocks because some indicator, but it's a great tool and it's a tool that a lot of people should be using more of, especially if you're looking to trade with a trend and not need to worry too, too much about anything else. Stick with the trend. The trend is your friend and you should have a good trading plan in place. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that thumbs up button if you got something out of this video. Comment down below if you use the MACD or if you're looking forward to using the MACD in your own trading. Check out some other videos here on the channel. We have a bunch of playlists to go through and also those links down below to get some free stocks at Weeble, other brokers, any other resources as well as our other two channels. We'll link them down below in the description box as well. If you like the stuff here, good chance you like the stuff over there as well. And we hope to see you guys in a future video. Peace.